Hello everyone, welcome back to my Chanel channel. Today's video is a bit of a strange one. I don't really think there's much of a point to it, but I hope, you know, if you clicked on it, you're into it. I decided that I'm just going to try on all the Disney clothing that I own because last night I was going through my wardrobe and I just realised how much I own and it's a bit crazy and yet I want to order more stuff. So I figured maybe if I did it's kind of like an intervention to myself. But at the same time it's showing everything I own to you because I know a lot of people always comment like where did you get this shirt from or this or whatever and some of it is Disney Park official, some of it is small shop, some of it is like collaborations so like Uniqlo and stuff like that. So Everything I have here at my home in Essex, oh, I just burped. There are a few pieces in London, but most of it is here. This should be interesting. Um, I'm just gonna like talk through the pieces as I do it. If that sounds interesting to you, stick around. So how am I gonna do this? Let's just begin. The first piece is from Walt Disney World. I got this on my second program, I think. It was just before work, I remember, going into a store on Hollywood Boulevard and it's official Disney merch. I feel like so many like influencers have this, um, the Disneyland one or this one, but that's what it looks like. Really cute, really cozy. These are probably one of the pieces that I wear the most. Okay, am I gonna do like transitions between each item? Ready? I'm not gonna keep that up through every single item, don't worry. Here we have the next sweatshirt again, officially Disney licensed. This one I'm obsessed with. I have a whole story about how long it took to get this one because it was like really popular the summer that I went, the whole Fort Parks icon theme. Personally, I think my favorite piece of Disney merch that I own in terms of clothing. Okay, next one. Let's just keep up the clothes for a little bit longer. This next one is actually from my friend Ruth. She got it from me, I think, from 21 for a birthday a few years ago. It is a Toy Story one, as we can see. I definitely don't wear this one enough or like super often. It's so cute and so soft. I feel like I need to move this along a bit quicker because there is so much stuff. Oh gosh, let's not get changed on camera. This one is Pull and Bear. Should I be standing up? I don't know. I just want to sit down. And as you can see, it has all the different like Mickey Mouses through the years. Mickey, I'm trying to read this backwards through my viewfinder. Mickey knows a smile will always help when things get tough. I sounded like a reception kid trying to like do their first word. Um, yeah, this one is a crop fit, kind of distressed edges. Very cute. I don't know how quick this should, I need to stop like almost undressing on camera. Not that I could, I could edit it out. <laughs> this next one is from Maya My Supply Co. It just says, hey no man, do you think we've ever met? Comment down below if you know what film that is from and we can be friends. This one is my cast member sweatshirt. Basically when we did our program from the UK, it's kind of a tradition that you always get like group sweatshirts. So I actually have two of them because I did two programs. One is in the wash right now. This is from my second program. So we just get our name personalized cast member on the sleeve. And then we have this artwork on the back. Cultural Exchange Program 2018. Why do I do that? This one I believe is from Uniqlo. I got this on my first program or second. I don't know. We got cast member discount Uniqlo and Disney Springs. It has that little Mickey Mouse, but the best part is on the back. Can you see that? It's giving you different angles. Mickey Mouse. I think it's all the sweatshirts. So now we'll go to Spirit Jersey. Spirit Jersey number one is my Disney cast member one. These came out when I was actually on my second program. So everyone got one. I went for the black and then it has cast member along. Da -da. Then we have the Arundel Ack one. I'm obsessed with this one. It is like one of my all-time favorite colors. So my one is Disneyland Paris. My lovely friend Lee got me this when she went in October, I think. So check out, I hate doing these back shots. Check out the back. You're here. Feels like very Titanic. Do you even see it? You know what it looks like. Christmas in June. I love it. And I got this one in December last year. A lovely subscriber, Norma, actually got it for me when she was in Disney World with her husband. So they got that, brought it back for me and my sister. Obviously, we're supposed to be going in December. Who knows? But I love it either way. It's so happy, Merry Holly Jolly. Again, if you know that reference, comment down below because <laughs> that song. You know what it says on the back. Well, there's me well, but it has like sprinkles, like candy cane. I don't like candy canes, but I like this. I actually have two other spirit jerseys that aren't here. Wait, two, three. So I have the like baby pink, millennial pink one for Disneyland that's at my flat in London. And I also have my original, like first one I ever got years ago now. And that one's like a turquoisey green. That's the end of the sweatshirts. Um, This is the pile of just the sweatshirt. I'm concerned. Um, onto t-shirt? I don't know if I should be doing this. T-shirt number one. This is one of my all-time faves from Stradivarius. 
Three Princesses, classic. I love it so much. I just need to get on with it and not say too much because this video will be too long. Why am I being so strange? I had coffee this morning, that's probably why. I had like a grande iced coconut latte from Starbucks for the first time in like 14 weeks and I'm buzzed. This one is from the Lost Bros. It says, life is the bubble under the sea. I love the Lost Bros. They're such a good small shop. I mean, they're not even a small shop anymore. They're like a legit brand. So go check them out. Let's have actually have another shirt from them. I will swiftly follow this up with. This is one of their famous pocket tees. It says, I do believe in fairies. Think about, oh my God, why is the lighting trash? I also have this tank from the Lost Brides, which honestly I don't love. It says beauties and I thought it would be more like a girly fit when it came, but it's like unisex, so it doesn't really fit me very well. Bell 91 when it came out. Maybe I should like a giveaway with it. If we want a giveaway, but we have it now, especially because like I normally tuck things in to my shorts. If you do that, you kind of lose the back bit. But what can I say? Support small businesses. Speaking of small shops, here is another one from My and My Supply Co. Some Mickey bars are worth melting for. I agree, I approve. I actually never got a photo eating a Mickey bar in this t-shirt because the one time I got it, it was melting so badly. I was just like, screw this photo, I'm gonna eat it. So it's a mission for my next trip. Another small shop again. This one is from, all the information in them, get it out. Once Upon Apparel. Have courage and be kind. I remember being obsessed with this on my second program because it was like, oh my God, rose gold. So I got this. I got the rose gold cupcake from Sunshine Seasons. I ate it. Had my rose gold ears on. It was such a vibe. <laughs> Don't know what to say. Another Unico purchase. Sorcerer's Apprentice with the different Mickeys. Very Hollywood Studios vibes, I must say. This one I love from Mink Pink. It is the Be Our Guest World Tour. And on the back, it has all the different dates as if they're the meals from the Be Our Guest song. I'll just let you read it. It has like beef ragu, cheese souffle, all that cool stuff. And I love this one when I went to Be Our Guest because what else? This one is brand new from Zara. I'm obsessed with it. Obviously we've seen I do not need any more Disney t-shirts, but I got it anyway. Disney, through the years, the originals, imagination. We turn to the back and it just gets better. Where dreams come true, all the signatures. Cheeky Primark purchase. This one, I thought it was like three pounds. So many people on our program own this one. Still cute, still love it. Disney treats are my thing. Oh my God, there's still so much to do. This is what's left. If I had just this many t-shirts, I think the internet would still think this is unacceptable. I have a problem. This one, oh God, there's nothing there, is there? This one was $5 from Cast Connection. It's actually like a kid's medium. I don't know how. But yeah, 2018, year of my program. Of course we turned to the back because all the good detail appears to be on the back. Well, Disney World, $5. You just can't argue with it, can you? Another official Disney match one, practically perfect in every way. My, I think my mum got this for me when she was walking around Epcot on my program and it was in the UK pavilion, obviously. And my whole family called me Mary Poppins and they felt they needed to buy it. And like, I'm not gonna say no. I feel like the World Showcase has some really cute merch if you just have a look and it's not going to be found anywhere else because it even says Epcot World Showcase. No back on this one, thank goodness. More official merch this is from Disneyland Paris and it was the 90th anniversary for Mickey. Pretty sure I was actually in Paris the day of Mickey's 90th birthday. Yeah, and it was like a bit underwhelming. They didn't really have a lot going on. Got the t-shirt. This one... Yeah, I have nothing to say, I just like it. Another My Own My Supply Co. I think this is actually a collaboration between them and Emily Nelson, like Emily Enchanted. Um, we're Soren flying. I love Soren, I love High School Musical. Is it weird that you can't see my face? Do you prefer that? This one was from Primark, little poo bear. I wasn't going to eat it, I was just going to taste it. What a vibe, what a mood. Who is my spirit animal? Primark ones are really great as well. If you get one that's not like super cringe and cheesy, because they'll be like five pounds and and that's what you need for a novelty tea, especially when you have this many of them. Another Uniqlo one, Walt Disney's Mr. Duck steps out. Very vintage style, love it a lot. Another Uniqlo one, this time with Minnie all along the side. This was like the celebration of the dots. It was like a whole campaign, it was very cute. The top is just polka dot. Feel very strange not showing my face, but that's the way it's gonna be. Maybe I'm just not showing because I'm embarrassed. Another one from Once Upon a Apparel, or is it Once Upon a Mickey tea? It's something like that. Purple Wool Princess, I love purple wool. I love walls in general. I think I actually wore this one to lectures at uni and people just didn't have a clue what it was about, but it was kind of like, yeah, it's them. Um. This one was a gift from my mum from an Etsy store, hashtag snack goals, because snacks are my thing. And it was so good to get this one as well because I've seen so many that kind of like this and they stick a turkey leg on the end. I don't want that on my t-shirts. I don't want anything to do with that humongous hunk of 
And the final t-shirt that people ask me about all the time where it's from that I actually can't remember, so I have to insert it here, is my Christian Ewell Couture one. That's the end of the t-shirts, we have one more thing one more thing to show it will not be a disney clothing collection without a pair of the zara mickey shorts can you ah! gosh what is going on there we go the final piece i should just move my camera and stop being lazy can you see them now that was the last one okay i'm gonna get back into what i was wearing before and then debrief so this made me realize that I'm absolute trash and I need to calm down, Taylor Swift. Um, this wasn't meant to be like showing off, whatever. I genuinely was just intrigued to see how much I had and I was like, let's put it on camera. Now I really need to close the tabs of my phone that I had open with like more clothes to buy about Disney. I have so many t-shirts. This is just ridiculous. If I had like, you know, a variation, like some tanks, maybe even some dresses, but no, it's just, that's the t-shirts. That's the sweatshirt. I have a prop thumbnail. Yeah, I have an issue. One sec. This is like more weightlifting than I've done in my whole life. I was gonna say in weeks in lockdown, but I was never a weightlifter. If you enjoyed this video and condone my spending, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below your favorite piece. Um, if you want me to do this with like accessories and things around my room, I did have an idea actually to just do like everything I own in my room Disney related. And then I was like, oh, do I, am I gonna include clothes in that? So I did clothes. If you wanna see everything that I own in terms of like merchandise and plush pillows comment that down below subscribe for more of me being an absolute trash for the mouse and i hope to see you next time if you're not scared off i promise i'm not crazy maybe i am i need to stop drinking caffeine okay bye <laughs>